All right, it's plate review time, number one. Now, a little disclaimer before we get going. I never, ever endorse or encourage you to eat this massive amount of food. It's not good for you, trust me. And I did a little research to figure out just how unhealthy it is. Um, so I looked it up and on the MyFitnessPal app, okay, you can look up food and um, nutritional content and whatever. I looked up a garbage plate, 1,664 calories, 282 grams of carbs, 202 grams of fat, and 187 grams of protein. So I wanted to figure out, well, how much would I have to exercise to burn that much off? Well, luckily I've been running a lot lately, so I looked up on my Strava app, how many miles would I have to run to burn that amount? And so I found a run that I did recently where I ran nine miles. Nine miles I burned 1,676 calories, so right around that garbage plate count. So basically, if you wanna eat a garbage plate, you're gonna to have to run nine miles after. So. I think that would be, actually be pretty funny if you did a garbage plate and then ran nine miles. I should make that a race. I don't know, we'll see, maybe someday. Garbage plate, nine miler. That'd be pretty fun. Um, so first review, we're gonna do Steve T's Hots. Um, on the other side of the city, I was gonna do South Wedge Hots first, but you know they didn't answer the phone. So well, I went with Steve T's Hots. I've actually never had this one before, um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, most garbage plates come in these kind of to-go white containers and it feels pretty heavy. It's pretty big. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, pretty basic. So you can see there's the two burgers on top. We got the home fries over here, mac salad underneath, and then you know they got the meat sauce on top with some onions. Um, typically it comes with mustard on it, but I don't really see too much on it. But I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's try it out. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything in this. Not bad. Max salad's kind of like watery, kind of wet, if that makes sense. Not a ton of flavor to it, but home fries are just kind of like little chopped up cubes. I actually kind of like it like that. I went what I actually like is the burger. Because some places you go and the burger is like crap. Like it's like a hockey puck. But this one's actually pretty good. Not bad. Now what I'm really, really looking to review is the hot meat sauce that's on top. Because I like it spicy and that's how I think it should be. Um, it's not super spicy, but the taste is actually pretty good. Um, pretty good plate overall. Now, plates also typically come with some sort of bread and butter. And you'll see that some places will do like a hard roll, Italian roll or something. Some places are super lame and do like a, like a slice of white bread. It's kind of lame, but let's take a look at this. Put a pound of saran wrap around it. Jeez. Can't even open it. Okay, that's just a waste. Let's take a look at that before I do my bread review. Look at how much plastic wrap. It's about four feet of plastic wrap to wrap two slices of bread. That's a waste. All right. Bread looks pretty good. Pretty basic. Typically what I'll do at the end is I'll put burger on the bread, eat it kind of like a burger. But, um, first time at Steve T's, it's pretty good I would say, but before I give it a score, I want to explain my scoring scale because I don't want you guys getting mad at me for giving bad reviews. In order for a plate to get like an eight or nine, it has to be really good. Like nine is like outstanding. Eight is like really good. And then once you get into like sixes and sevens, that's where it's kind of average. So for this one, I'm gonna have to say 
6.3. 6.3, that's my first review. Steve T's Hots on, I believe, Lyle Avenue in Rochester. So pretty good plate, but 6.3, and that's my first review.